Hello, welcome back to the Michael Talks Football Channel. It is time for the Conference League semifinal predictions. My quarterfinal predictions, yeah, they didn't go so well. Well, we're gonna keep it quiet. We're gonna we're gonna forget about it. We're gonna forget about it. All right, I went for a lot of upsets, didn't quite happen, but we had some epic quarterfinal matchups, right? Leicester City, epic comeback against PSV in the second half. Roma were amazing in the first half. You look at, obviously, Feyenoord going away to Braha. And obviously, Marseille going into a very difficult atmosphere and coming away with the victory. So, all of these four teams deserve to be in the semifinals. Who's going to make it to the final in Tirana? You guys let me know in the comment section down below. Hit the like button on your way in. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Let's get to the predictions of this year's Conference League semifinals. In the first semifinal, we have Leicester City taking on AS Roma. This should be fun, right? This uh, Guaranteed goals? Maybe. Maybe we're going to get some goals in this game. Leicester City. I predicted them to lose against PSP. But you know what? They showed some character in that second half. Going 1-0 down after Zah Zahavi's goal. And the way they were able to create chances and chances. And just... Ricardo Pereira getting the winner against PSV. You have to give it to Brendan Rodgers' this side. Yes, okay, their Premier League campaign has been absolutely dreadful, but it is now all down to the Conference League for them to secure any sort of European football for next season. And I think they have the tools now with Fofana back to beat Roma and make it to a final. And I think they're a very good side, and they're used to, you know, cup competitions and finals especially. You know, obviously last year, FA Cup winners. So I like the way Brendan Rodgers' this side is going. And if they can just get some goal scoring, and with Madison, who's now been on excellent form in the last couple of games, if he can continue that, Leicester have a great chance of beating AS Roma. And Uncle Mo, Uncle Mourinho. You know what? I doubted them after that first leg against Bodo. But that first half against Bodo Glimp in the Stadio Olimpico was something different. They were just at it. They just said, all right, we're going to pepper you with crosses and crosses. Zaniolo was absolutely amazing in that game with Tammy Abraham, right? The guy is just a goal scoring machine. Tammy Abraham is a goal scoring machine. Top goal, top goal scorer of the Conference League this season with eight goals. Tammy, shout out to him. Shout out to Tammy Abraham. What will Marino do? Marino versus Brendan Rodgers, you know, what an excellent matchup we have here. Can he, what will Mourinho do? Will he go to a four in the back formation? Will he stick with his five in the back? Let's see what happens. But I think they've been playing a little bit better recently, AS Roma. Okay, yes, in Bodo, it wasn't the greatest performance. But look, I I knew they would lose that game. Bodo have just been amazing at home in the first leg. They have to not get annihilated in Leicester. They have to just keep it one goal or draw it. That would be the best case scenario for AS Roma. And they're still competing for a top four finish in Serie A. So they're going to have to compete on both fronts. And let's see how Mourinho will, you know, approach it. Will he play his best 11 in the only in the Conference League? Or will he play his best 11 in both competitions? Let's see what happens. And let's see what Mourinho's at it. Now, who will make it to Tirana between these two teams? I am very excited. This should be an interesting matchup. Very, a very interesting matchup. I'm going to go with Leicester City. I think they're on a good run here. Look, I just think Brendan Rodgers is, you know, at first he was like, what is this competition? Now he's like, we love this competition. So if he loves this competition so much, he will win it. And they have the players to do it. They have everywhere. Lukman, Patsundaka. They have all, all sorts of great attacking players. Defensively, now they're much more solid. So I like the way Leicester City are going. And I think they will beat AS Roma and make it to the Conference League final. In the second semifinal, we have Feyenoord taking Olympique de Marseille. Ooh, 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 great fan fan bases we have here. Marseille with their excellent crowd. Feyenoord with their electric crowd. Whenever they score, there's absolute limbs. Arne Slot side play amazing attacking football with Sinistera, Desers, all of these guys. Watch out for Sinistera. The Colombian winger is having an amazing season with Feyenoord. He is very dangerous. The only problem I have with Feyenoord is they concede goals. They love conceding, but they can score against anybody. They truly can. And with Sinistera especially, the guy's on amazing form. So, I love the way Arne Slot side play. Very attacking brand of football. Pressing, all this sort of stuff. They just need to be a bit more solid at the, at the back. If they can be more solid at the back, they can win this competition. They have the tools to do it, Feyenoord. They really do. Marseille, on the other hand... 
could you say they got lucky in the second leg against Balk? Possibly. You know, Balk were all over them in the first half. They could have easily scored two goals. But sometimes in these competitions, you need to ride your luck. And they rolled their luck in that game and eventually won one no. By its goal in the first leg, one of the best goals I've ever seen. You try and do that on a football field and tell me how it goes. And tell me how many tries it tells it takes before you can actually execute it perfectly like Parit does. You have Gwenduzi, Saliba, Bokombu, a lot of options. Milik, oh, there's so many options for Marseille. But I'll say it time and time again. Sampoioli. What will what will his decisions be? What will his starting eleven be? I like the I like these players they have. I just cannot trust them as a manager. But time and time again in this competition, he's proven me wrong. And they're in a top four. They're in second place in league all. So you cannot deny the work he's doing. This is going to be fascinating. I really don't know who's going to win this tie. I really don't. I've bet against Marseille a lot. They've had maybe a somewhat easy road to this semifinal. Where I. Feyenoord, I feel like Feyenoord have gone through a lot of tough matches. Sylvia Praha are no joke, and Feyenoord dealt with them well in the second leg. This is 50-50. Who do I think will meet Leicester City in the final? I think it will be Feyenoord. This is, I'm not hating Marseille as a club. I just can't trust Jorge Sampaoli as much. Plus, he was gone in the second leg, and look what, the ha- what happened. They went through, even though they rolled their luck. So I think Arna Slot side will make it to Tirana. Love the way they play. Can they just outscore Marseille? Of course they can. They have to just outscore them. I just cannot see them being defensively solid against Marseille. So I'm going to go with Fire North, taking it to the final. There you have it. My semifinal predictions of this year's Conference League. I went with Leicester City and Fire North to meet in the inaugural final in Tirana. You guys let me know in the comment section down below who will be in the final. What's your score predictions for both legs of both sets of matches? Should be enthralling. This has been an amazing competition. Guys, if you love the Conference League, just drop a fire emoji with UECL next to it. Fire emoji with UECL next to it. Because I absolutely love this competition. That quarterfinal matchups were amazing. And then we're going to get the same thing in the semifinal. Have a beautiful day. Stay safe in this crazy world. And adios.